Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Hope the start of your day is amazing. I think it's gonna be a pretty amazing day, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, things are always hectic around here and it's speeding up with all this reptarium stuff for sure. Come on, Jerry, you take first, all right, bud? You take it first. Come on, ah, you missed it. Oh, uh, now Ben got it. <laughs> sure enough, that little rascal. Ben is always so quick, no matter how I try to get Jerry to eat first, but that's okay, because Jerry always eats. Just gotta take a few minutes here with Ben. But like I said, busy day today. Every day is gonna be busy from here till when we open up at the Reptarium. So uh, we're just gonna have a great day, right? Let's do it together and let's just jump right into it. Well, we did our first podcast, guys, on the Checking In channel. I had such a good time. I don't know, for those of you guys that watch how you like it, let me know if you did in the comments if you dug it. It was so much fun. Obviously, it was Lori, Noah, and myself, and uh, we're gonna have a bunch of guests, a lot of cool stuff, at least once a week. Could be three, four times a week. Who knows? I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. If you haven't, please do me a favor. I need to get that channel to 10,000 subscribers. We're at a little over 7,000 now, so if you could subscribe to that channel, I really, really appreciate it. Help me out. And then turn the post notifications on because we're not gonna have a schedule. We're just gonna do a podcast whenever someone shows up that we really want to do we'll have some schedule stuff and i'll certainly post stuff on instagram and stuff like that when we're going to be doing it in advance but it was so much fun and i'm so thankful for everyone that joined the chat room and made comments and hung out i mean it was so much more insane than i thought and i can't thank you enough please do me a favor get us over 10,000 subscribers over there and please check it out because i think it's going to be a lot of fun the other day, someone actually asked what these tags are for. And quite frankly, honestly, they could be for multiple things, to be honest with you. So this particular animal is a Therai, or a Nuevo Leonis variable king snake. A really cool animal. And in this case, this is for live, you know. So in this rack here, we use the tags as a live tag, just meaning that they won't eat frozen thawed and something like that. But interestingly enough, another animal in the same rack that is also a live eater is a very similar animal. But this is called a San Luis Potosi king snake. The difference is this is a Lampropelsis mexicana mexicana. That's why they call them Max Max. And the first one was a mexicana theri. So uh, almost the same type of subspecies animal. Uh, and in this case, they're live eaters. But we'll sometimes use these tags for other things too. But in this case, everything here that has a tag means that we offer live. Today is definitely a good breeding day when it comes to ball pythons. Just going through and I'm excited about this girl right here. This is actually a blue-eyed leucistic girl bred to a hidden gene Woma. Now that's gonna be amazing. That can produce some soul suckers and some other animals like that. This is actually a pastel head clown that's bred to an albino clown. So we get some pastel clowns, head for albino, different things like that. Going through just a bunch of animals we're hooked up today. Again, it's starting to heat up. I mean, no doubt about that. Just gonna take a peek right here. Looks like these guys are just about locked up. These are actually some sunset project animals that aren't quite hooked up, but they're definitely going through the breeding motions. Just looking through again, Mary actually marked some animals. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is actually my black pewter lesser cypress male and it's bred to a pinstripe female. This is the first lock of the season from this male. And that's one of the things that's really gonna make the difference when it comes to success, is these males starting to turn on that haven't bred. You know, my older males breeding, that's great, but I want the young males to breed because we have so many cool things going on. This is actually a leopard to a lorry leopard. This is the one that produced the super lorry leopard last year, so that's a great breeding. Hopefully we can get another one of those beautiful animals for sure. So things are really heating up, doing well. Uh, we got through most of the ultrasound like I showed you guys yesterday, so it's kind of getting to the point where we better start seeing some breeding, even from these young males. This is another new male that hadn't bred before. This is a banana fire spider, just hooked up to a nice big normal female. Well, I tell you what, man, this is exciting. And once you start to see copulation, that's when you're gonna start to see follicle growth starting to expand. We're starting to feed really heavy too. This is actually, oh, take a look at this. It's actually a pastel pied that's being bred to a pied. So everything's gonna be pied because it's a recessive mutation and half of them are gonna be pastel pied. So that is amazing breeding right there. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's definitely heating up. It's good and good. Oh, look at, speaking of cool recessive mutations, it's actually a pastel leopard clown ball python bred to a pastel lesser clown. This is amazing. And then, oh, we've got a pastel enchi yellow belly that's actually breeding with a stinger bee, which is a enchi and a spider oh my gosh oh and guess what some more sunset stuff but this is actually scaleless head pet sunset pairing whoo I tell you what, I, again great day good progress before you guys know it we're gonna have eggs we're gonna be cutting eggs it's gonna be an amazing season 
doing? Oh wait, what am I doing? Yo, what are you doing for real? Oh, so take those uh, dang things I know, out it's your devil ear, music. boy. It's devil music. Shout out to his headphones. Anyways, their music really slaps. Okay, <laughs> that's what the kids are saying nowadays. But I just want to say, your order number 18481 and get this beautiful male Mexican black king snake, you know. This one goes out to you. <laughs> Always continuing moving forward here at the Reptarium Expansion. And one of the things we have to do is obviously redo the floor. We don't want the floor to look like this. So uh, we have a floor guy out. He's gonna grind a couple spots, do some samples, just so we have a kind of choice between what we want to do, how the floor is actually gonna look. So uh, we'll go ahead and let him do his thing and then you guys can help me pick which one we should do. Hello. You knew that's what was gonna happen. It actually hurts. I know it does. It shells hard. Is this what you guys deal with? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. It's best to just let him. Oh my god, he's charging my <laughs> ankle. Oh, oh now you're gonna win that one. Ow. Now you gotta bruise. There you go. <laughs> what do you guys? What a Speedy, weird attack dog. Speedy one, shin zero. <laughs> hey guys. Look who, um, I found these people. They say they know you. Hey! <laughs> what the heck? How are you? Oh my god, you got so big! What's up, brother? How the heck are you, man? Like, What's going okay, on, dude? Just up I just picked people up outside. What did you try to do to us? This is for me and Lori. So you came you to should, give me something? <laughs> you should open that. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I'll this open it. Where's the phone? Okay. Oh, careful. Be careful. Oh, Jesus. Very curious. Oh my gosh. Back to the wrong person. Yeah, do you never do you want me to open you anything? Know what it is, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. That is, what is this? That box is definitely for Lori, too. Oh, wait. Step do we in the what? right direction. I see. Oh my gosh. Shoes. Hang on a second. Foot here. in the door. Lori and Brian, please accept this unique gift as a heartfelt token of goodwill, faith, and impart a personal pitch to work for you directly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please don't shoo us away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I had a blast working with you on this custom sneakers. Oh, custom sneakers. Yeah. Okay, so we got custom. <laughs> what, what do we got? I don't even don't know, know what to open here. Sure. I know this box. That's I what know. I'm saying. I'm like, well, what well, is going you know, on? You don't know what's oh my gosh, dude. So this is my boy Blake out in California and I deem him to be absolutely the top of his game with this. Oh my gosh, this is so, I, I literally got the chills right now. I literally got oh, the shut the hell up. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these, these man. Dude, some freaking oh custom oh Yeezys. Oh no. Oh my no, god. No, mine are better. Oh Look at this. Oh it's my got Zeus and Phoebe. Oh, it's the donuts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are. I, I, I love. Oh, these are. Look at the back. Look at the back. I know it's got the Reptarium wow. on it. Custom. Oh, oh, oh my Pieball Yeezys, dude. Dude, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, dude. Seriously. Oh my god. That is the coolest thing. Now, you give me a hug. Ah. Thank you so much. So, how, when you got, how long you guys been here for? Today, you have no idea how awkward and how nervous I am about this at the moment. This is really like it's overwhelming and surreal because I, I have been thinking about this for six months. And for me to be here, and entirely because of Beth. This is Beth. So, you were involved in this? Please don't fire Beth. You're out, you're Please out don't here. fire back. You're so fire back. You're done. Very well. Uh, I'm going back to New York with you now. You're secret keeping. <laughs> what, are, what other secrets are you keeping? I have about? no other secrets, and it was hard because I'm not good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Is Eric here? But check this out, man. What do you got? The newest, coolest thing. Piebald Yeezys. Oh, oh my God, it's dude! Got the Reptarium on it. Are you kidding me? Is that dope? where did you get these it's from? A friend of mine from New York came in and actually had them custom made in LA for me. Dude, that is insane it's right there. Eyeball Yeezy with the snakeskin on them. <laughs> got the Reptarium on the back. Holy oh, moly! Oh my, my God, that's so cool. Is that ridiculous? Dude, those bro? are uh, 
pretty pimp. Dude, oh dude I am mad jealous of this. This is this sweet. Is... Actually, today I got some really fun stuff I'm going to try out. Uh, I, I don't have no idea how this is really going to work out, but I actually saw this really cool video a couple days ago on, uh, um, on working with some Komodo dragons, and they basically put a big box with their food inside of it. And the Komodo dragon looked like interested and curious, and it was just like, they were just talking about the enrichment behind it, and I was just like, man, why couldn't we do that with Ubusuku? I, I went ahead and got a couple rodents, because I figured the smell might actually help a lot more than just a regular piece of meat. Let's see if she'll actually be interested. Throw one in there. It's really important that you enrich these animals because of how smart they are. They're, they're such smart animals that like every day uh, they, they wake up and they're looking outside and they're wondering what's going on out there. By involving them in what we're doing every day and sort of like, you know, giving them little activities to do, we're sort of distracting them from that everyday little like bit of, uh, oh, I'm in a, I'm chilling out, not doing much, I'm bored or whatever like that. And so this is, this mitigates that boredom as best we can. Come on, what's behind door number one? Yes! <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. I, you know, honestly, I have to fully admit, I didn't, didn't really expect it a little bit. Now, it did take a little bit of course, and I had to kind of work around it, around a little thing. Maybe I made the boxes a little too difficult to get into, uh, just because obviously I have opposable thumbs. It makes me a lot easier to get into that than she could. Yo, what? what? This guy, ooh, what? Look in the back, look in the back. He's got the Reptarium, that's actually awesome. No, that's remote. awesome. Isn't that so sweet? So he just gave him to you? Yeah. Surprise me, flew all the way Wait, to show, New York. Show He's here? Yeah, did you see Lori's? No. Yeah, Lori's oh are God. big pimping in NYC. The, the, the box is right there. That's what they say. This is really, oh. people sleeping on a sneaker. This is really hot sneaker right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is this a Phoebe in a zoo? Yes. <laughs> oh my Dude, god, that's awesome. I can't even Dude, believe that. So the sample's are all ready here. Basically what we have is, you know, they look like pretty similar as far as color goes. One has a little bit of grit in it, just some sand to make it kind of a little texture. The other is really shiny. Now it's interesting, I mean, I like the real clean kind of shine of this one, but at the same time, you know, if it gets wet, it's gonna be extremely slippery. This one has a little bit more grain. It also has a little texture, which I think is kind of interesting too. And not to mention when the animals are out, like Matilda when she comes out, or even Elvis, you know, the grit might be good for it to kind of grab onto they don't like slippery floors we've seen Argamas you know like kind of do the scooby-doo where his powers are going this will be a little bit more grip for him so I'm not sure let me know in the comments should I go with the stuff with a little grit with sand uh, that doesn't look as quite as shiny as slick or should I go with the really slick kind of smooth shiny stuff uh, I don't know let me know what you guys think <laughs> you can always tell when Bowser is ready to eat because he's got that mouth open, the lure is going and stuff like that. And we're actually just feeding him a crocodile chow, which is Missouri. It, it's really strange that he's been eating this winter because normally he's off food during the winter, but he's just been crushing food. So uh, I love ending my day that way. And speaking of that, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit this video right over here. It's actually the video we actually got Bowser in. Here's an entire playlist you can roll through if you want to watch a bunch of content. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on, of course. Have a wonderful day and you better be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.